What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Gibbon here again today with a little bit of domination which I've not done for a little while, it's hardcore domination and it's on Nuketown! I do actually really like this map, I love this map, I'm great that it's, um, well it's great that it's now been included obviously in the rotation. Um, one of the things that I had forgotten about Nuketown was, um, oh my god, it is a cluster of a map to try and play domination on. Um, it is such a tiny map that it is really, really hard to determine in terms of spawns and everything like that, and unless you're sort of like an absolutely beast mode type player that just really can always rely on their gun skills, um, you'll get popped off from somewhere that just seems completely ridiculous. But this is a really good gameplay for me. This was the first time that I played this map um, in, obviously, on the PS4, part of the new Dales DLC and everything now that it's been included. So this is the first time me playing it on this map. And I think it's a pretty good game. I ain't gonna lie, I die a shit ton of times, but the end of the game is totally worth it and the fact that I only managed to get my score streaks out um, once within this gameplay kind of shows that I did, didn't do too bad realistically speaking. There's some nice little two pieces in here, there's a couple of good three pieces, that kind of stuff. So it actually worked out quite well but Jesus, this it's so fast paced when you're doing it on, on Nuketown and um, obviously one of the the um, the weirdest things now with the new jump abilities and everything, the fact that you can <laughs> the fact that you can bounce all over the map like a flying squirrel um, makes for some interesting gun battles to say the least. It's um, yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, I enjoyed it. I, in all honesty, I was I was still online this morning at about five o'clock, half past five this morning, and this was kind of like my last gameplay. Isn't that always the way? The, your last gameplay that you get is just absolutely always tends to be kind of your best gameplay for some bizarre reason it doesn't matter how tired you are or or anything like that it just seems to be that that's the way that it worked but I mean at the start of this game we were quite far behind um, and then we managed to pull it around in the first half which you'll see in a second you'll notice that I do way better in the second half as opposed to the first half because there aren't that many cuts in the in the second half of this map um, but yeah, it was just a really good game. I really enjoyed it. The setup that I'm running, I've got obviously the Razorback on. Elo Sight's my favourite sight. It's got Quick Draw. It has Stock on it and it has Extended Mag on as well. That's purely because that I've not opened or not unlocked Scavenger yet. So um, you need that Extended Mag just to give you a little bit of uh, humph, a little bit of extra humph as the game goes on. So yeah, it was. Um, it was an interesting gameplay. You can see, first half I go 26 and 16, I believe. Um, I end up with like 31 deaths, and I think overall I, I end up getting 62 kills, something to that effect, something like that. Anyways, so it worked out okay for me um, in this gameplay, and it worked out all right in the end. And like I said, it was ridiculously fun game to play. I played TDM on this map as well. My God, that is ridiculous. The problem that you're always going to have with this is that. Because it's such a small map, if the enemy team or your team start pushing too far forwards, if you remember I did a video about controlling spawns and stuff, but if the rest of your team pushes way too far forwards, it just means that you're going to end up spawning in ridiculous places. And a couple of times when I was playing TDM today, I spawned in on the enemy team. Straight on the enemy team and you're just like, whoa. So it's like spawn and die, spawn and die. Um, but I haven't seen any spawn trapping on this yet, so that's not too much of a bad thing, I suppose. But yeah, it, um, you're going to see in a second as well. I think um, in a sec I managed to, to get my to get my streaks out, um, but I actually, for some reason, get killed by my uh, hardened sentry. So consequently, I ended up um, I was close to getting my wraps in this game. Um, and because I died off of my hardened sentry, um, it destroyed the idea of being, me being able to get kind of my wraps and everything, which was which was upsetting to say the least. So I was a little bit annoyed about that, but it is what it is. You've just got to carry on regardless and just kind of keep going and everything. So pop out the hardened sentry here, and I shouldn't have done um, because I'll run in front of it in a second, and I ended up getting sort of taken out. Just a little tip for you all, if you're going to hide behind any of the cars, make sure that they've been blown up first, because if you don't, 
somebody will throw a grenade to get them to blow up and um, it'll just be a bit of a ridiculous death that you shouldn't have had. But anyways, how is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Um, again, hope you're enjoying Easter and having a good time. I've been trying to do that um, TDM challenge. I'll have uh, my best go at it. And I remember playing... I played a game on... What did I play it on? I don't know whether or not I want to upload the video, actually. I mean, I might do. We'll see. Um, but it was... Uh, obviously, it's to get 70 kills in a TDM. We were playing a game on Infection. Um, and my team were just absolute garbage. Which is a good thing, because then that means you can go and do what you need to do in terms of getting your kills and stuff. But we ended up losing the game 100 to 99, which is a bit of a bitter pill to swallow. I managed to get, I think, 40 something odd kills. And we're really pulling it back. The closest person on my team to me, I know some people rage quit, I think, because they were just getting their asses handed to them, so they were getting a bit annoyed at that. The closest guy to me had like 20 kills, and then the other, then the worst player on the team had like. What did he go? He, I, I'm not joking. He went something silly like 1 and 38. And you just, again, <laughs> why do you bother playing if you are that bad? It's just, it's just absolutely redonkulous, but it's just one of those things. So, yeah. This is, like I say, the game playing in the background. Um, I think we're getting close-ish to the end, kind of. How my Cerberus didn't kill that guy then, I don't know, but it is what it is. Um, so... Yeah, just absolute great fun playing this map again. I've not played it in such a long time, and it was really cool to play it. And as you can see there, I get the last kill. I just wanted to bring in this gameplay because I had such good fun playing it. Hopefully that's reflected in the gameplay and also the commentary as well. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to click that like button. If you are new to my channel, please also subscribe. And guys, this has been OG Gibbon. I thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace. Hashtag over sixty kills. Ah.